This right here is another offering from Gerber. This is their Gerber Paralite. So as always, the description bar is going to have the specs on this thing, but I'm just going to talk about my opinions on this real quick. Uh, Gerber is known, of course, as I've said in other videos, they're kind of an entry level. They do have some more expensive stuff, but for the most part, when you go to sporting goods stores or whatnot, and you see the Gerber lineup, you kind of associate it with entry level stuff, and that's what this is. Uh, in a nutshell, I view this as maybe a flashier version of a Gerber paraframe, uh, in a sense. So here it is, basic, nice setup. It has a frame lock on it. Starting with the clip right here, very solid clip. I really do like it. It's very thick, very solid. Uh, you can't reverse it or anything just due to the design of the knife itself. So pretty much tip down, right hand carry is what you get. The um, overall design and finish work of the handle is good to go. It does have a skeletonized appearance, just like you would expect the um, out of the paraframes and whatnot. The Paralite pretty much follows the same suit. This one has that bra nice bronze and black offset, which really makes it look sharp. And that's why I got this, because it's a cool looking knife. So it does have dual thumb studs. And opening it up, it is a little bit stiff opening it up. And from what I understand, it's a common sentiment amongst a lot of reviewers out there. This is a very stiff knife. So just keep in mind, if you want to be able to flick it open a lot easier, you might have to work with the action a little bit, work it in. But I believe just most of them, they're just stiff from the factory, just the way it is with these things. Uh, it doesn't bother me because this is more like a tool, not a self-defense blade or anything like that. This is for everyday uses. I would pair this up with a fighting knife, use this for my everyday tasks, and then keep the fighting knife for self-defense use if it was me. Um, you know, of course, your mileage may vary. Just know that using this, deploying this in a fast fashion, I don't think you're going to get uh, a very quick deployment out of this considering how... Uh, stiff the action is on this so the blade pretty sharp from the factory not the sharpest i've seen could probably be a little bit sharper but i get it with these budget blades that's just the way it is the frame lock nice and solid um, lock it's going to be consistent it doesn't surprise me i have a frame lock the uh, hardware and stuff very good very well mounted no, nothing's loose all that good stuff i mean there's not a whole lot you can talk about this knife the feel in hand, um, it's okay. It's a little bit slippery in my hand, but uh, again, for just a basic knife for quick everyday uses, that's not an issue. But be sure to check it out. I mean, if anything, it's a sharp looking knife. So if anything, it makes a good gift. That was my first thought when I saw this is, man, this is a good looking that little knife. Uh, it's inexpensive, so it'd be great for a gift. I mean, we know, heck, it's the end of July right now, the date of this review, but we know that uh, coming up, next thing you know, it's going to be the holiday season again. So something like this, make a good little stocking stuffer or gift or whatnot. So uh, throw your comments in below, whether good or bad. I think it's a cool little knife. Again, I, I it's very basic. Uh, it's a little stiff. I think that could be maybe a good thing as far as the safety side is concerned. You know, it's not going to flip open in your pocket. But the stiffness, just keep in mind that, you know, you're not going to get the fastest deployment again. And it is a little bit slick. I think if they change the material um, of this knife and maybe it a little bit easier, a little bit smoother opening, I think they'd have a home run. So in any case, enough out of me. Feel free to comment and I hope everybody's staying safe out there.